I'm gonna give you some inside code here. When a studio releases a Paranormal Activity movie in January, that is studio code for we think this movie sucks ass. Seriously, they don't have faith in it. It shows in the release date. Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones. So Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones is the fifth Paranormal Activity movie in the Paranormal Activity franchise, but it's not actually Paranormal Activity 5. I've heard Paranormal Activity 5 is actually coming, but this isn't it. This is like when you have a game franchise that has a lot of installments, and then they have that storyline that does tie in with the other ones that comes out for the portable systems. That's The Marked Ones. And in The Marked Ones is one dude, he's 18 years old, of course his friend gets a camera. Then this creepy witch lady who lives in their apartment complex dies, and then weird things start happening to this 18 year old dude. You guessed it, a demon is like latching onto him. Otherwise known as coolest demon friend ever. This demon gives this kid superpowers. He catches him if he falls. He plays Simon with him. You know Simon. Boop, 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 boop. It's like a My Buddy doll in the form of something ethereal and evil. But you guessed it, this thing is evil and this kid is in some dire need of John Constantine but Constantine's not around. So this kid's pretty much screwed. And so is this franchise really. I have a litmus test to see if movies like this are actually good. After the movie is over, if I can go right to my car at mid night in the pitch black, drive home, get into my house in pitch black, go right to my room. With no problem whatsoever, this movie's pretty much failed in its job to creep me out. And the reason is the Paranormal Activity franchise is not what it used to be. It's not what it was when it started. I mean, everyone in this movie looks like they're phoning it in. Paranormal Activity 1 had this charming simplicity to it. it took place mostly in the bedroom, so it's violating our safe space, the bedroom, to our DNA that creeped us all out. I felt like they were trying to make this movie cool and action filled, rather than actually scary and creepy. Oh yeah, jump scares galore also. Are you kidding me? There are a couple times this one dude's walking up to this curtain. He's like, hey man, bro, are you in there? Can you hear me? I was like, he's gonna jump out in three, two, one. Boom, jumps out. I was like, of course he jumped out. Another time he goes into a bathroom, dead end. He's like, oh, I literally in my head was like, Turn around. He turned around, a big creep's there, and I'm like, there he is. Of course, how else would you construct this movie? You feel like Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. It's like that little kid in the cul-de-sac that comes up to you and all your friends when you're playing baseball. He's like, hey, can I play? And you just want to be like, yeah, let him play. He wants to be with it. He doesn't have any friends. Do you want to pat this movie on the head and be like, nice try? And then in the end of this movie, it tries to do something to make it relevant, but it really just kind of sinks the entire franchise. This is the classic case of trying to make something so big, the entire franchise loses perspective. I'm going to reference Star Wars for a second. I prefer Darth Vader wipes out the Emperor because he was a dad who didn't like to see his kid getting fried. No, the prequels had to come along and make it a big prophecy, some convoluted bullshit that made it so big it wasn't relatable anymore. I just didn't like it. That's what this movie is. It tries to be so big and it tries to bring everything into relevance that by the end of this movie, you're like, even the first one sucks now. In the end, in the marked ones, I was bored out of my mind. Some things looked pretty cool, yeah. There is one cool scene that creeped me out. All the lights go out and it was ultimately, it has to do with the audio. All the lights went out in the movie. All the speakers kicked on. And you felt like all this creepy ass ambient noise was in the theater. Good job, sound guys. The rest of the movie can eat shit and die. I'm not looking forward to paranormal activity and Anymore. I really enjoyed the first one for what it did. It's almost a tradition at this point, but you know I wouldn't give this movie this rating if I truly didn't think it deserved it. Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones is dog shit. So Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones, have you seen it? What did you think about it? How about this? I will say it for you. Save you the time. The Paranormal Activity franchise does need to end. I got your back. But whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.